Yo, what's going on guys? It's Rutonic here and today I'm actually showing you how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC. And if you guys do use DS4 Windows, obviously you do if you're watching this video or you need to. I'm going to show you guys how to get that working as well with some bugs and some fixes that I'll be showing you all in this video as well. So if this video does help you out, before we even start the video, I want you to go ahead and go down the description and make sure you all go ahead and follow my Twitter and make sure you all go ahead and uh, follow my Instagram and like the video and let's get on with it. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alrighty guys, so I actually just wanted to go ahead and edit this in while I was editing the video and I just want to let you guys know that this tutorial is actually for PS4 controllers and PS5 controllers. Pretty much the issues you guys are all having are pretty much within the same controllers, like they're both having the exact same issues other than this software hasn't been working with the most recent version of DS4 Windows or the PS5 controller. That is the only difference between the two, so everything I'm saying pretty much relates to both PS4 and PS5. Just wanted to let you guys know that before I go ahead and get into the rest of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Alrighty, boys, so the first thing I want to actually tell you guys is that if you guys are using this wired, I'm going to make a whole other video if you guys use this wired. I don't recommend using it wired. I 100% recommend using it wireless. Wireless is just better. It's more reliable. And when you're using wired, you're still wired. You can just plug it into your wall so you don't lose battery instead and just keep your controller charged that way while you're playing. There's nothing wrong with that. So I just want to let you guys know this is the Bluetooth version. I'll probably make a wired version next because there's just a lot more bugs that can happen when you're using it wired. So I'm showing the wireless version here. If you guys don't know how to connect your controller wirelessly, I'm going to show you guys that really quickly. So you just go down here, you turn on your Bluetooth, you can go to settings, make sure you hold your PS4 button and the share button is at the top left right next to the touchpad. And you hit this right here and this will find your controller. Your controller should blink blue be like a rapid blink and then you can hit connect and right now it's paired so i'm going to turn on my controller hit connect within a few seconds there we go it is connected now i'm going to go ahead and exit out of the settings bar right here now i'm going to go ahead and open up my ds4 windows also let me make it clear once again this software is not bannable you cannot get in trouble for it whatsoever it's not bannable in any game as far as i'm concerned because it isn't doing anything that is bannable so I'm going to go ahead and open up DS4 Windows here. I'm also going to show you guys which version to download. As you guys can see, it is asking for an update, guys. You just asking for an update. You guys do not want to update this. If you guys are on version 2.1.23, you guys need to revert back to the version that I'm on right now because for some reason, the current version has some issues with the uh, controller. I don't know why that is, but apparently it does. So I never update and I guys, I would not update personally until you guys see another tutorial coming out from me saying that it is okay to update. But I don't put if I don't bring out a tutorial that says it's okay to update at the beginning of the video, guys, just do not update your DS4 Windows no matter what, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys once again how to go back. I'm gonna show you guys which version to download first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in DS4 really quickly. I'm gonna scroll down. It's the one from GitHub pages right there. I'm gonna click download now. I'm going to show you guys go down, scroll down, scroll down. You want this version right here. It is version 2.1.19. That is the version you want. The assets right there. And then you want the second one that is 2.85 megabytes, all right? Go ahead and download that one. Get that one set up, and it will bring you back to the PS4 Windows. Which looks like this. Let me go ahead and drag it over really quickly. All righty, and there we go. Alrighty guys, then we'll bring it to this page right here. Now I'm going to walk you guys through this one more time. I'm going to completely make a whole new profile just to show you guys for the video. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new. Just hit no on that, alright? Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and name your profile, alright? So I'm going to name the profile. I'm just going to name it tutorial6. I'm just going to name it randomly. And you want to hit apply and you want to hit save. Now sometimes what happens is it'll say please enter a valid name. There you go. So now if you guys can just keep, literally keep trying stuff until something works, don't ask me why, but that's exactly how it is. Another thing you guys had issues with is you guys didn't actually select the right profile. So you want to actually go back to your controllers once you make the profile and then you want to actually select, okay, profile or tutorial G. Don't know why it made both, but it did probably because I actually already had that name. That was probably why. So make sure you go to tutorial G and then now you can go ahead and click edit. So now your controller is actually using this profile and now you can go ahead and actually edit the settings within it. So once you guys have done that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to mess with the touchpad. So you want to make sure you put it on controls. You don't use any of these. Go back to access config. Keep all these settings the same. Do not change any of them unless you need to change your dead zone if your controller feels really, really weird. Light bar is right there. You guys can mess with that. It doesn't mess with anything. We're going to go ahead and go to other. 
want to make sure that this is uh, enabled make sure this is enabled change this to 1ms it's the bluetooth pull rate and then you want to go back to controller readings controller readings should be pretty low mine is like 1ms doesn't really go much over and sometimes goes less than that now i'm going to go ahead and hit apply i'm going to go back to the controls once i go back to the controls you guys should be able to see right here where there is the touchpad so if you guys want to use your touchpad in game like some people use a touchpad to edit some people use a touchpad to you know pull up their pickaxe or whatever that is whatever game you're playing you want to use your touchpad you want to assign it to the back button on the xbox controller so if you were to have an xbox controller plugged in your pc when you press the back button on the xbox controller it actually registers a touchpad those two buttons are exactly the same so right now you want to go ahead and right click on this one and assign it to the back button right click on the right one Sign it to the back button. And this one is a multi-touch. No matter how you touch the touchpad, you're just binding every different touch of the touchpad to back. So that way, no matter how you press it, it will work with a back button. Pretty simple. That's actually pretty much it. Other thing I wanted to show you guys right before we end the video is if you guys want to go back to the uh, we go back to the main tab here. Um, some of you guys legitimately didn't even hit start. So if you guys stop it right now. Now you guys can't see anything. It doesn't show you a controller. It'll just say no controller is connected. You guys have to start the program. If you guys don't start the program, you guys won't see anything. After we get rid of that issue, sometimes it'll say VGM bus is not installed or something like that. If you guys end up getting that issue, go ahead and go to the settings. You guys can scroll down here, controller slash driver setup. It'll ask me if I want to set up or make allow DS4 Windows to make changes on my PC. You just hit yes. Now that you open up this, install vgm bus driver just install that and then hit finished and then you guys can go back to controllers and hit start and it will work perfectly fine Alrighty, guys so uh one other random issue you guys were having was when you guys got the double input issue and some people doesn't know what that is so i'm going to just kind of explain it double input is basically if you were to press your right or left trigger one time and you were to like shoot twice or if you're testing your bumpers and you were to move slots twice in your inventory instead of one time or basically it's basically if you were like pressing a button and it does it twice instead of one time that's the double input issue and it's kind of hard to explain how it happens but i just know that it happens to some people and it did happen to me once i'm going to show you guys how to fix it right now so first thing you guys want to go ahead and do if you guys get that double input issue you guys want to go ahead and minimize the ideas for windows go down to your bottom left search bar and type in device manager all right so you don't even have to type it in all the way it'll come up it's right here it's device manager and this is actually probably one of the biggest issues you guys had was the double input i feel like um so once you guys want to do i'm gonna just go ahead and make it bigger just so you guys can see better and it is actually in the human interface devices so once you guys are in the human interface devices i'm gonna show you some controllers here so the only ones you want to be looking at is make sure you spot out your two hid compliant game controller all right once you guys go ahead and spot those go ahead and open up your disk for windows i'm gonna go ahead and drag it over just so you guys can see both at the exact same time so my controller right now is bluetooth connected okay if you guys are using it wired again make sure you guys just wait for the second video that i'll be posting about using it wired and some of the issues you have with that but with bluetooth so with bluetooth if you guys are going ahead and getting the double input issue i want you guys to go ahead and hit stop so once I hit stop, do you guys see how the HID compliant or HID interface devices reset? And then now I only have one. Well, right now, if you have two of these, you want to make sure that you get rid of another one. Because if you still have two, you shouldn't have two at all. You should only have one. And the one that you have left should say, when you go to your device, you go to details, HID compliant game controller, you guys can go over to driver. To show that you guys go to general and it should say location on bluetooth hid device if it says on usb or something like that i want you guys to go to driver i want you to uninstall and or disable both of them do the same thing but most likely i want you guys to uninstall the uninstall is a better one so go ahead and just uninstall that one all right if it says not bluetooth if it doesn't say bluetooth right here then get rid of it and then i want you to hit okay i want you to open up the ds4 windows software again let me ds4 i want you guys to go ahead and see ds4 bring it back over hit start and once you hit start you guys will be able to see here that now two should be there only two you should only ever have two max if you have three you definitely have an issue 
that will actually get rid of your guys' double input issue. If you guys have more questions, go ahead and DM me on my Twitter and my Instagram, but I want you guys to know I'm very busy, so if your question, and I know it's gonna take me a very long time to answer, a lot of times I'll ask you guys to set up a meeting with me and set up a time or something like that. But again, if you guys did enjoy the video, please, please, please drop a like and comment if you guys have more questions. Sorry I don't get to all of them. And again, make sure you guys do not update your DS4 Windows unless you guys get a video from me saying that the next version works. Glad you guys watched. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all all in the next one and peace out.